U.S. Ordinance, man. I've been hearing this name forever. It's so exciting to be here. And you've been calling on these guys for how many years? So I started calling on Curtis in 96, sold him a little VF2 in a small 1,250 square foot bay. Dang. That's it. Way now, back in the day. Are. Yes, sir. Amazing facility. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So how long have you actually been in business? We started, incorporated the company in 1997. We really decided to get into the government stuff in mid-98, and that's, that's where the, you know we started with one gun, the M60. We kind of grew from there. The first six, seven years, it was basically just the M60. That was all we focused on. Before we moved into this building, we decided to build the 50 cal in 2006. By the time we had you know riveting fixtures and tooling and all that stuff built, we delivered our first guns to the Iraq war in 2008. So you've had to figure out everything from the beginning, like how to manufacture a gun. You know, one, I think one of the uh, problems with, you know, the U.S. And, and the world in general is like we've forgotten how important manufacturing is, how important the techniques, the equipment, the technology, and all of it. And uh, you had to really harness the power of technology to actually build these the equipment efficiently. Yeah, I love the fact that you guys have never laid anybody off. Never had a layoff. Even during COVID, no, during no. everything, never had a layoff. No. But no. you're hiring. We're hiring. We, we so need good. bodies. We need bodies. We need good people that, and... that really care. Uh, our goal is to give the soldier the best yeah. piece of equipment that he, we can give him. I and mean, we have an obligation, regardless of what soldier he is, yeah. whether he's a U.S. soldier or one of our allies somewhere in the yeah. world, you know, th that soldier deserves the best the equipment. Best equipment. Yeah. Awesome. And that's what we we strive to do is provide the best equipment and that's made right here right here in america you at right in america <laughs> u.s ordinance that's it i'm a patriot man i love our country and it's just about you know likewise building manufacturing man you know yeah. and uh putting people called. giving people opportunities you yeah. know i felt it like i like i'm focused on me like i want to make money i want to do my own business but i also feel at the same time like a really really strong calling to do similar to kind of what you do even on the same scale but like to teach yeah. to like teach and bring this to our country because we are in like dire need yeah, of manufacturing capability people hold knowledge and they kind of they almost get sort of like well i know it but i'm not going to share it with you yeah that's why I like your channel and, and yeah. there's so many other different so much info available but what you're doing is so awesome now i was just like you man i was just a machinist i'd always just like you know i'd be bored man i'd be running all my machines so i just start pointing to the young guys in the shop and yeah testing them on their, you know, fractions and their decimals and like calling them out on certain things, holding them accountable and just yeah. teaching them the trade. Yep. And now I just do the same thing, but it, but then we teach like the young guys, we teach guys like you, yeah. people who like, you know, hey, you never ran Monel or high temps or, you know, use this tool and here's new stuff. Because like if, if you want to manufacture on a high level, there's no way that you can know everything, yeah. right? So yeah. you just put it all out there, man. If you want to teach or you want to make a difference, we have free curriculum. You can actually just dedicate a few hours and say, hey, I'm actually making money on these machines, but on Saturday morning, I'll give yeah. you like, if you guys do Titans curriculum at your house, yeah. you know, on the CAD and the CAM, you can come run your part. Yeah. And that's a way for you to you actually know, teach. Yeah, and yeah. then it helps you because then your customers, eventual customers and stuff, you know, then they end up loving it. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. very yeah. nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Awesome, brother. Yeah. And then we just talked this entire time and the robots moving, the machines are running and production is happening. So I didn't ruin anything over here, man. We're just spindles making turning, it all happen. Man. Spindles are turning, if making the, money. If the spindles ain't turning, <laughs> you ain't earning. Yes, chips of freedom. Is this, is this your happy place? This is my happy place. Oh. Let's go. Fire! The belt pull is what they just did. Put a weight on there. It simulates a full belt. That way, if anything is wrong with the gun, if any issue, the gun won't belt pull. It lets you know if there's an issue. It's a great way to test it. Every gun is belt pull tested. Red rounds are high pressure test. Every gun needs a high pressure test.
Go oh, in, Barry. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Yes. How was that? That was the best moment of my life. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought when I hired you, that was the best moment. <laughs> that, that was the second best. Having kids was kind of cool, too, but yeah, that's all about levels. It's <laughs> level. <laughs> How many uh, total employees do you guys have? Uh, 140. 140 range. right now? And you guys are looking for more? More. More, huh? Increased production? Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome, man. I mean, this area is like beautiful too. So right here, you just have like building after building after building of manufacturing. And then probably what, an hour away, you got Lake Tahoe, some of the most beautiful mountains like in the world. I mean, I. I started my shop right over the hill from you guys and stuff, and uh, we'd always go up there. And, and just the Sierras, I mean, it's just beautiful. A lot, a lot of things for um, employees to do on their off time. Absolutely. Race family. No state sales no, tax. No, no state income no, tax. No state income tax. That's nice. You have a gym. Any of the employees can use the, the gym anytime. Uh, if they want to work out with Mike, the trainer, then uh, they, they sign up uh, to work out with him. Right. We've had guys lost. 30, 40 pounds. Super uh, good. It's a real asset. We've had him here for years. When I was, I was young, and people know, like, my weight's gone up and gone down, but like, now I'm, I'm down again. You think quicker, you're, you know, just everything is good when you're healthy and living a good life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. super good. It's Great a win-win for everybody. When you first started manufacturing, were you, um, were you like outsourcing all your chrome? We started, yes. We had to ship the barrels to Tennessee, we had to truck them there. Okay. And if you're trying to do a thousand barrels a month at 26 pounds, now you're, you've got a truckload going. It's got to get there. It's got to get chromed. It's got to get reinspected. Then it's got to come back, get reinspected here. It was five or six weeks. It, it was added to the overall delivery yeah, time, it, all it, of it. And uh, yeah, we end up putting our own chrome line in and. I believe 2011. And now you have a brand new chrome line. Brand new chrome line. Uh, awesome. With the, the very latest equipment, 100% environmental uh, recovery, everything, it, it, there's zero waste. It recycles the chrome continually. You're adding chrome, but it refilters the solution and you continue to chrome, there's no waste. So this is all US ordinance. So multiple buildings, the main building down there, and then you got the range down on the other side. And this is a brand new building right here. So this is where their new chrome line is being installed. It'll be up and running in about eight weeks. So how do you learn the process of chroming if you've never... There's so much there black is magic a lot, in that. I bet, that is, I bet. Yeah, that's... That's not just something We're looking you for, you know, uh, a chemical engineer as well. You know, our guys are, are good, but it's nice to have a, a good chemical engineer on, on staff as well. Now, there's a lot to it because, you know, every time you plate a barrel, now you have less chrome yep. in there, so you have to be continually adding chrome. And, and there's just a lot, of, uh, a lot of tricks that you learn along the way. In, no doubt. In chrome plating the inside diameter of a barrel. There's only a few places it want to do it you know when you, when you look at how you used to do it and farm it out and send it all the way across the united states uh how much time do you think you save it's not just the time the money it's uh it's very expensive to have that barrel chromed and so um but it's a, like i say it's a real learning curve yeah we were fortunate enough we uh we bought out a company uh and he came here and he showed us how to do it and, nice and uh, but even at that it's a moving target yeah you know, you're always you're always tweaking things and you know rarely do you, you run a batch of 100 barrels and and if you get 98 or 97 95 you're happy okay sometimes you get 90 you get 100 percent inspection everything is 100 percent inspection Everything. every barrel has to be inspected and have to have a 
search sheet with that barrel. So good. Yeah, right? so great. I, I started my shop right on the other side of the mountain and then every Friday you'd be up here. Yes. And we'd be talking Always. on the phone. Yes. Super I made good. a lot of runs up here. They've, they, they've grown tremendously. What an amazing company. Yeah. Absolutely. They, like, you just talk to all the machinists. They're all happy. You know, like, there's so much to do up here, too. Like, anybody oh. that's thinking about actually getting a job, the uh, U.S. Ordinance is hiring, and it's beautiful. Like, it's gorgeous. You literally have the mountains, like, right there. You got Tahoe right Lake there. Lake Tahoe, you got 40 the minutes desert. away. Yep. You got all of it. It's so great. And a great. great job. Throughout the all these years, almost 30 years I've been calling them these guys, yeah, they're the COVID. same they, faces. They, they didn't even in COVID. Nothing. That's correct. Ever. Yep. Same yeah. faces for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Super walk through Everybody's just smiling. Exactly. What's saying they, so they're great. watching the videos. Yes. They used to call them, and now you're in the videos. <laughs> and they're in the video, videos. That's, that's what we do. That's what. It, <laughs> so good. You want to see something crazy? We were at U.S. Ordnance like just 60 minutes ago. And then we were going to go back to the hotel in Reno. And I was like, let's just go over the mountain. So and in 60 minutes, we got over here. Maybe even less, right? It was just under an hour. Just under an hour. And now we're sitting right here. And I actually, this is going to blow your mind. Because we're in Reno. It's the desert. So when you're over there, it's like the desert. And then now, check this out. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Brandon? What's up, Keith? What's up, brother man? We like uh, for years brought our kids up here, this man. Was the spot. Crazy. 18 years. And then it's a hard life, Barry. It's a hard life, baby. <laughs> but uh, no, watch this. Check this out. Watch this. Watch this. Oh. Oh, look at that. Remember the movie Cocktail? Dude, that's the bar right there. Just like it. So crazy. Lake Tahoe is absolutely stunning, but it's cool, right? You can actually work at a place like U.S. Ordnance. You can go on the desert. You can do all the things. You can come over the mountain. You can go skiing. You can come over here. Super good. So if that, that kind of a career is good for you guys and you guys want to do that type of work, man, Check this out. This is this is the type of environment that you guys can actually have your family by. It's super beautiful. Boom. Love you guys. God bless.